Alright, we're back at Otacon. Back again, I'm walking not costume. It's going as me. It'd be awesome. We're going to the Toonami panel. We're gonna be excited. You excited? Hmm? Excited? Hell yeah. Just waiting in line for panel six. Wait, Paul. Keep video on when we get in. I love this part. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Woo good evening, or good morning, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to Tsunami, a celebration of a generation. My name is Thomas Prime Tom Hattis. And my client, Brock Lesnar, defeated The Undertaker's... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I am so glad that you joined me here at 10, 15 in the morning. I really do. I was kind of afraid that uh, I didn't know what would happen. This is my first year at Otakon. Uh, if any of you have been at Anime Next, I did this panel at Anime Next, and wow. Really, you guys are just blowing my mind for all of you coming out. So I want everybody to give yourselves a round of applause for coming out. Primarily in the mid to late 90s. Like that's when we started to reach the age of puberty. And it's not just that we watch Tsunami, though, Tsunami is the big thing that's centered around our lives. But it's things like ECW, it's things like the type of music, the, the RB and rap and rock that started to come into mainstream because of us. It's video games. Nickelodeon! Nickelodeon. <laughs> The Tsunami Generation, that's who we are. And that, and honestly, because of Tsunami and because of fans like us that are the Tsunami Generation, it's why Otakon has 30,000 people coming through its door, parading through Baltimore. Woo! It's why you have nerdcore musicians like Ricky Branson, who you just heard right there, doing wonderful music like Tsunami's Back Bitches or White Reflections from his Gundam LP. Our Gundam Week uh, LP album, and of course the Joe Taco Tuesday album. So, Toonami started in 1996, the first small idea to 
uh, Cartoon Network employees uh, to, you know, at that time, Cartoon Network was mostly about their Hanna-Barbera cartoons because that's what they had. They had maybe, I think, Dexter's Lab and maybe one other originally created uh, cartoon cartoon at that time. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, oh, Canada. for their action hour, uh, which they had uh, several cartoons that fit into those categories. And so they started Toonami. In fact, this was their very first intro. Yes. Oh, Oh, no, sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's Sailor Moon in the New England dub, and uh, Robbie Damon is the new. Um, yes. <laughs> you can tell I haven't watched it in 20 years. <laughs> so, but those who really want to now, Tsunami at this point, they were on the edge of becoming mainstream, becoming the rock star they were. It needed one show to do that. And I'm going to play your clip of the one show that launched Tsunami into infamy and extreme popularity. <laughs> The Earth's fear alliance rules the outlying colonies with an iron fist. I'm sure God would understand the steps we're taking. Is it in about time people realize the ones posing the most threat are not other than yourselves? We've had enough! Those who oppose them, we won't be needing you anymore. What? <laughs> Battles are waged with all suits, the key to military dominance. The only hope for the colonies to find elite soldiers and their legendary mullet suits called Gundams. Will be a day when the Gundams will save us all. Saturday is a show we all wanted on Tsunami, 
a little show called Gurin, Gurin Login. about how much Gynex screwed up Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tsunami is in full force nowadays, and the popularity is ever growing, up by evidence by everybody showing up at 10, 15 a.m. in the morning. And it, it's just getting bigger, so we're gonna have some fun. Uh, and I'm gonna actually start by wanting to talk about the shows you wanna see, uh, or the shows that you think missed the mark, uh, which is sort of a shame. So, uh, I'm gonna, for about a couple minutes, about 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna have this little discussion. I don't want people to raise their hands past year and make it on at some point. Because it was definitely popular during the Adult Swim. Yeah, that's awesome. And, um, I used to actually have three shows, but someone said fairy tale already, so the other two, the other two would be, um, I'd like a more common show like uh, School Rumble or, uh, or um, I also like to see Hunter X Hunter. Both are great shows. Alright, this is probably kind of a boring suggestion. I'd like to see JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> I love to see Gundam Bill Fighters. 
<laughs> I would love to see that too. I actually haven't got a chance to see it yet uh, because nobody picked it up. Uh, oh, by the way, I want to say this. I'm not suggesting that they need nothing but adult titles. I'm just putting my pitch for what Toonami is nowadays. Okay? But don't think you have to pick adult titles. Uh, I probably just want to see two things. I want to see Future Diaries and... <laughs> And what was the second one? Berserk. Berserk. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> You're a sick man. <laughs> there are uh, two shows that I would like to send to you would be Cosme No Stigma and Chaos. Oh my What was the second one? Chaos Head. Chaos Head. Oh you yeah. <laughs> two good ones right there. They both have dubs, so I think you really know what you know. Absolutely. So tour doors getting dubbed, you won't say um, anything. I really hope that Toonami does actually bring Salem and Crystal to its lineup. Because Salem and Crystal, the original Salem and did help Toonami get off the ground, built the nice. And, but the new Toonami, the new Salem and came along right with it. And then also, like maybe once a month, it'll be nice if they would play like a movie night. Like they did right before it went off, like when they were playing Princess Party there, and they were like, Mm-hmm.